Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add a basic zoom effect to a media file in DaVinci Resolve. Inside my edit window, I have a single video file in place on my timeline. Going up to the media pool and left clicking on the clip attributes icon in the bottom right corner of my video clip thumbnail. We can tell that each second in this video clip contains 30 still images. This will be important when determining the length and the velocity of the zoom that you are going to apply to your media file. I wish for the zoom effect to commence after 2 seconds. With my red playhead at the start of the timeline at frame 0, ensure that the video clip is selected. Go to Inspector and under Transform, left click in the keyframe diamond symbols which appear next to zoom X and Y and position X and Y. Now position the red playhead on the edit timeline at the point in your video where you want the zoom effect to start from. You can drag using your mouse or hold in K and tap L to shift your red playhead forward to a later stage of your video. Each time you tap L, the red playhead moves along by one frame. Holding in K and tapping J will shift the red playhead backwards to an earlier stage of your media file. With the red playhead in place at the start point for the zoom, go back to Inspector and select the keyframe boxes next to zoom and position once more. This will ensure that the zoom and position values will remain consistent during the first two seconds of your video file. I now wish for the video clip to zoom in for half a second. Having previously identified the frame rate of 30 using the clip attributes at the start of the tutorial, what I'm going to do is shift the red playhead forward by 15 frames. Always ensure that the same video clip is selected before going back to Inspector. And now click on the keyframe diamonds once again. And to zoom into your video or image file, increase the values in zoom X and Y. I'm going to double the value in both attributes here to 2. I also wish to shift focus to the boats on the right hand side. To do this I will decrease the value in position X. And to shift the point of focus upwards slightly I'm going to decrease position Y. I wish for these particular zoom and positioning settings to last for 2 seconds. Therefore the next point on my timeline where my red playhead should go should be the 4 second 15 frame mark. Go back to transform and click on the keyframe diamonds once again. To ensure consistency in values for these attributes since the last keyframe we established 2 seconds ago on our timeline. And now to create a zoom out effect to reset the values in zoom and position X and Y. I wish for the zoom out to last for 15 frames. I will shift the red playhead forward to the 5 second mark. Click on the keyframes once again for zoom and position. And change the values in these attribute boxes to those that were established at the beginning of the timeline. Do not click on the curly arrowed buttons on the side to do this, otherwise you will remove the keyframes that you previously established on your timeline. Should you wish to change the velocity and duration of your zoom effects without having to find each of the keyframes manually using the red playhead here for example, we can identify the location of each of the keyframes for our video clip by left clicking on the keyframe diamond icon in the bottom right corner of our edit on the video track. The white diamond icons in the bottom section here of the video edit represent the location of the keyframes. These can be clicked on and dragged to different locations. The number which appears in the dark grey box next to my mouse cursor as I shift the keyframe along indicates how far the keyframe is in its new position from its original position on the timeline. So in this case here I've taken the last keyframe which I established using the inspector transform properties and I have shifted this keyframe 20 frames further along the timeline from its original position, which will ultimately make the zoom out last longer. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.